Hi, this is Database by Doug and a short video on the delete statement in SQL. If you want to run this on your own server, on your own system, you can get the code up in a card that should be showing up on your screen up here. Uh, before you start, we're going to use the Northwind database and you might want to review the select statement. I've got some other videos out there on the various things you can do in the WHERE clause. Pretty much anything you can do in the WHERE clause you can use in the delete statement. Now a, a public service announcement. This is uh, as compared to select, insert, update, and delete uh, change the data in your database and can do set at a time operations. Which means you can do pretty massive damage with a simple looking statement and the database engine will not ask you are you sure it won't do the things that Microsoft Access would do which give you an undo or things like that so uh, professionals normally don't do this uh, daily through the day at the command line on a production database so you just need to treat these uh, statements with a little more respect or a lot more respect than a uh, simple select statement so what does this delete statement do well it, it removes entire rows from a table. So if you want to remove a value in a row, that's a different thing. That is just modifying a row that already exists. You would use the update statement for that. Delete removes entire rows. So I'm going to demo this on the orders table. And uh, I'll just to start off, I'll show you some of the records in the orders table. And notice that I've sorted the orders table descending by the ID. So this is a identity field uh, and it will continue to generate IDs as I insert values or insert rows. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a row and notice that it just says one row inserted. And then I'm going to select just to show that I've gotten that row. So there it is. Uh, the new ID is 11,109. And um, so I'll modify my, my comment there. And just to show you how to delete it with a very simple delete statement, it says delete from orders, the orders table, where the order ID, this column, is equal to 11,109. Just go ahead and execute that. And notice that there's no are you sure, there's no you're about to do, you're about to remove a record. It just does it and says, here's what I did. I deleted one record. There's no undo up on the toolbar. So let's go ahead and check the table and see if that record is actually gone. And yes, it should be at the top uh, here. So uh, we're not seeing that. So the delete occurred. So note that there was only one record was affected. And part of the reason was that my WHERE clause was an equality condition on the primary key. So at most, with a primary key that's unique, at most I'm going to lose one record. If there aren't any records with that ID, so if I execute this without uh, that record there, it just says zero rows affected. So at most, this is, is pretty key, is that the uh, this condition is a very limiting condition. At most, I'll harm one record. So let's go ahead and put that record back in. And we'll look at what occurred. And there we go. Notice that we get a new ID there. So usually when I'm doing this at, at a command prompt or kind of in line or through a day uh, working on a database, what I'll do is I'll execute or look for the record and do it with the select statement and uh, look for the record or set of records that might satisfy this condition and look at it just to make sure that I've got my where conditions correct before I do something damaging like a delete statement. So what I'll normally do is take this and copy it or, or just modify it once I'm sure I've got my where condition correct. I'll copy it and then just modify the top statement to a delete and then execute. So I've got my one row affected and I can go ahead and check my results. But I do that just as a safety check. Uh, the other issue or problem that I've had before is that sometimes I might highlight and not highlight 
correctly the entire wear condition. So I, I am very careful about trying to make sure that I've got the entire thing highlighted before I, uh, the entire statement and the entire where clause highlighted before I hit execute. So the general format for the delete statement is delete, no columns. Again, we're deleting entire uh, rows here, so it doesn't make sense to specify columns. From which table, and then where some logical expression. So this will be any record that matches the logical expression will be deleted. So what if you want to specify records to be deleted based on so how those records relate to another table? In other words, through some kind of a join. So what I'm going to do is to demonstrate this is I'm going to insert this record. I'll insert a couple more records, similar. And notice I've got three records now. And then I'm going to run this query that is a classic find unmatched query. In other words, this shows records in the orders table that do not relate to records in the order details. So this is orders without any lines on them, or order records that do not relate to any order detail records. So if you're interested in looking at uh, a video on that, I have some outer join videos. Um, but how do I delete that record? Well, I've got my select clause that shows me those records. So I've got three of them. I'd like to get rid of those because they're widow records and they kind of don't make sense. So I might do this in a cleansing data cleansing effort. But if I do my other trick of just copying the query down and replacing the select star with a delete, notice that I get a syntax error. And the syntax error is a little deceptive. What it really means is that I've got multiple tables in my from statement, and the delete statement doesn't know which table to delete the records from. So in this case where I'm doing the joins, I need to be more specific. And so here's the change in the syntax. Instead of just having a delete, delete with no uh, nothing here, I'm going to say delete orders, then all of this is exactly the same as it was up here. So now I just say delete, and of the two tables in the from statement, delete records from orders. So if I run that, I get three rows affected, check the results, and those three records are gone. So the more general syntax is delete, give a table name, and typically or this table name is in the table expression in the from statement, and then the where logical expression. So question, do professionals normally sit at a command line on a production database and delete things? Well, certainly they don't, they don't do that, but <clears throat> even if it's not uh, danger, dangerous to move stuff from a production database, let's say they're on some other database, do we normally just delete for forever data? Well, the answer is no. Usually what we do is we move it someplace, and after we make sure that it safely made it to the new location, then we might remove it from where it was, and of course we do things like have backups and archives. Uh, so delete is there to man manipulate things, but uh, really as a database professional, you, you think really hard and long about deleting data. Uh, the only thing I can think of is maybe if you've got 10 years of backups, you might get rid of the 11th year. So um, otherwise, you typically move it someplace, move it to a less expensive storage medium that's less accessible, and, uh, and keep it. So that's uh, how to do delete in SQL. Thanks for watching.